Okay, guys, we're going to do another kind of behind-the-scenes type thing. Um, I did a video on this a while back, but it wasn't the greatest. Um, now, as many of you are... How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, anyway, as many of you know, I have a Western Unimount with an Ultramount adapter. Um, we're expecting some snow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the truck prepared. I'm going to show you guys uh, how that I do that. So naturally that means I'm gonna prepare. We're not gonna get any snow, but let's get into it. ways that I have found to mount and dismount this thing uh, after screwing up a lot last year uh, if you look let me move you over if you look I'm not all the way in yet I'm not in all the way in here um, and also if you use the uh, if you use the factory uh, unimount foot this thing up which you're gonna have to do anyway to keep the uh the mast here upright um it actually sets the plow down pretty low um i'll show you guys i have blocks of wood underneath the uh, snowshoes but keeping it down low like that what i'm gonna have to do um because the front of my truck is actually kind of low too um i have the scissor jack here that i'll put underneath uh, for your spare tire and what I'll do is you guys can't see it but I have the jack here underneath this beam in the middle and we're gonna zoom in on this part right here and as I lift it up you'll notice it changes the angle which is perfect that's what we want end up doing is I end up picking up the front of the truck along with the plow uh, so that way I can get that jack there about a quarter inch or so off of the ground and then uh, what I'll do is because uh, that tightens up the gap in here uh, and it also angles the back part of this plate which has the notch uh, that meets the back side of the ultra mount uh, that kicks it up uh, or that changes the angle just enough to where that way those two uh, we'll line up, and then what I'll do is I'll start the truck and we'll pull. Okay, so usually you're not supposed to push it off of the scissor jack like that but it happened so um our holes did line up which is good but i still have to jack the thing up so that way i can get the foot out of there so we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm just gonna put you on time lapse So now that we corrected that mistake and we're all hooked up, uh, we got the jack lowered. That's all out of the way and taken care of. Uh, in the time lapse there, you'll notice I opted out of uh, hooking up the electrical connectors. Um, they got they they get beat up in between storms um, or events. And these, I mean these these rubber caps are nice. They keep out the majority of the stuff, but they're not weather tight. Uh, so I'm just going to take some uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner and then some dielectric grease and I'm going to go ahead and repack them. Um, that way we don't have this issue. That's pretty much it as far as the plow side goes, uh, hooking it up. That's the easiest way that I've seen to do this or have performed doing it. Um, 
You'll also notice that while we were uh, greasing up our electrical connections, we took the bra off the front. This is a uh, 03 LB766 Duramax. Uh, the truck doesn't necessarily overheat with the uh, cover on there and the plow. Um, this, this truck was in a wreck. For those of you that are new and don't know, and you can see eh, it's pushed in and it changed the line on the bumper. So where it hooks in the bottom, uh, where those, uh, they're like the puffy feet, they wedge in between the bumper and the grill. Uh, there's some space there. So when the wind comes off of it, it'll actually, it'll flip it up and I don't want to lose it. I don't want to tear it. It's a nice piece and it works great. So, uh, the other thing that I also do too, um, before doing this is, uh, I will check fluids, uh, go over all that. This truck does have a slight transmission leak. Um, and it's also higher mileage too, so you know you want to check the oil and all that. Even though the truck doesn't have any blow by, you still want to play it safe. Check your rig, make sure that it's good to go, because um, you're only as strong as your equipment. wrap up a couple things on the truck too um i finally made my mount to uh put the snow blower on there and the gas can so i could chain it because you know people like to steal shit um let's look closer at that real quick now I always, i've got a full tool set in the truck so getting that undone ain't a big deal but i'll probably end up putting a padlock on it maybe maybe not i don't know maybe maybe i should give the human race more credit than it deserves but as of yet i haven't been uh haven't been impressed um but anyway that's actually a loop um that's actually a loop from the chassis of our uh duramax obs marriage that we're gonna have going here and hopefully by the time you see this video the rest of that is out of here but anyway there's uh Here's, here's another video kind of looking uh, behind the scenes of how I do things, what it takes to get it done. Um, like I said, it was really nice to be able to hit more on how I get my ultra mount, uh, unimount adapter to uh, to work. And I, it, it works pretty good. I mean, it's, it's never going to be as fast as hooking up an ultra mount or anything like that. But for what it is... Um, I, I one person can do it rather than you know two people wrestling with a a unimount. I know some of the some of the hardcore plow guys are gonna oh I've been doing it like whatever I'm not in it to break my back. Anyway, before you guys go, if you could let me know what do you think about the the videos of doing behind the scenes? Um, this is obviously after the fact. We as you can see we're getting some snow. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a, a plowing video up for you guys. Um, I've picked up a few more places that I'm doing, so time isn't really on my side to make a video, but I am heading out today with my camera bag after work, so it'll probably be a nighttime video, which I have no idea how good that's going to turn out. So, anyway, you guys know what to do. I appreciate all the love and support as always. Take care. God bless. Be good to one another. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care.